Hi, my name is Joshua Gellard. I'm a physical therapist in the sports medicine department at the University of Washington. And I'm excited to show you some exercises today to help with the shoulder. All right, so we're gonna show you one of my favorite exercises to help to strengthen the rotator cuff and your scapular stabilizers. So we're gonna use a TheraBand. We're gonna start with the lightest uh, resistance, which is yellow. And I'm gonna have you hold on to this band right here in both hands. You're gonna hold on to that tension about shoulder width apart. You're gonna tuck your elbows to your side, thumbs are gonna go up, shoulders are gonna go down towards the ground, and you're just going to rotate out about 30 degrees, perfect, just to my hand, good. Back in nice and slow. You're gonna do 10 of those, three sets, and what you should really be focusing on is relaxing your shoulders and, and feeling your shoulder blades squeeze together. The muscles that help to stabilize your shoulder blade are really important to maximize your rotator cuff efficiency, which are the muscles that help to stabilize the ball of the humerus within the socket of your shoulder blade. This is a great exercise because you're working multiple muscle groups at once. So, a very easy modification for that last exercise is just to tie a knot within the band. And if you're having difficulty gripping, we can slide that over the wrists, and then we can just perform the exact same exercise, elbows tucked down on the side, gently rotating out no more than 30 degrees, relaxing through the shoulders, engaging through the shoulder blades, and trying to ensure that you're feeling it on the back side of your shoulder. There should never be any pain while you're doing this. All right, so now I'm excited to show you another one of my favorite exercises. I'm gonna have you hold on to the band here. You're gonna have your elbows be about shoulder width, width apart. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the triceps, which are really vital for, for propulsion in your assisted device. So you're gonna be holding your arms in this position and you're gonna bring your right arm down just to the ground, good, and then come back up nice and slow. And then your left side down coming back up. Again, you're targeting your triceps with this, but your triceps actually uh, help to stabilize your shoulder blade as well. And they're one of the more neglected muscles when it comes to uh, shoulder blade uh, strengthening and external rotation functioning uh, of the humerus itself. So it's a really important and vital functional exercise that will also help with your performance. Another really easy variation to do is just to tie a knot within the, within the band to create a loop. And then from here, we can target the triceps in the same way, but taking the hands out of it. So if you're having issues gripping, you can still work on the tricep strengthening, where you're just gonna press your right arm down to the ground. Good, come back. And then your left side, being thoughtful and mindful just to keep your shoulder, the shoulders down, engaging back through your shoulder blades. Good, and targeting the backside of your triceps. Your rotator cuff is made up of four different muscles. Your supraspinatus, your infraspinatus, your teres minor, and your subscapularis. Up to this point, we've targeted the first three, and now your primary internal rotator, your subscapularis, we're gonna target with this exercise. So I'm gonna have you hold on to this side, either a family member or partner, or just tying it around a banister or, or anchoring it in a door will, will work for this. And keeping your elbow pinned at your side, you're gonna bring your hand to pat your belly. Good. As you come forward, trying not to have your shoulder move with it. Instead, trying to challenge yourself through your shoulder blade to stay in a neutral position. There we go. And as you can tell, it's a lot harder that way. Mm -hmm. 